Timer is a simple project management app that's packed with a lot of advanced features. It has projects, time tracking, collaboration, custom reports, discussions, file sharing, but what really stands out about Timer is how fast and easy it is to use. When you first log into Timer this is what you're gonna see and one of the reasons you can enter tasks so fast is because of natural language processing. It uses the at symbol like Twitter and makes entering tasks really really fast. I'm just going to give an example real quick. We're going to say we got a lunch meeting and it's going to be on Monday. We can type at MON at 12 p.m. at website. So these two are pretty obvious. The meeting's at Monday at 12, 12 p.m. and this last one is going to set a tag of website to let me know that the meeting is about our website. Click add and you can see the tag right here and it converted Monday to May 16th at 12 p.m. So you just can type pretty close to how you would enter something in Twitter or how how you would think you know if you don't have to say Monday you can you can you can say May 16th if you want and it'll it'll recognize it you can put the numbers like you can put 516 and uh, that'll work also so that makes entering detailed tasks very fast now if we look right here there's some um, icons that are kinda not visible unless I hover over it this one right here checks the task done this one's for logging time. This one lets me edit the task. And these speech bubbles is to have discussions and share files about the task. Over here, this D tags that tags the task as needing a discussion. This tags important, billable, and waiting for. If if I'm waiting on someone else to do something for me to be able to complete this task, then I would tag it with this W. Entering a project is easy too. Just hit this plus, give it a pro the project a name, and hit enter. And now we have a project. Switch back to all, you can see our task we entered. If I want to enter a task in this project, I can either select the project and enter the task. But from all, I can just type at project1. And we'll say this one's due on... May 20th so we'll put at 520 and you can see it put it in the project one and is due on May 20th so very fast you don't have to use that natural language processing if you go right here and select advanced add then you get form inputs to be able to select those things you can select re you can set reoccurring tasks you can set a budget of time allotted for a task, you can color code it, and you can add tags. Turn off advanced add. We can also do bulk add where you can type a task per line. and then you can hit enter oh, you gotta click add and see it added all three tasks now something else that's really cool is you can hit these little plus icons on the separator here and you can select different options I like to select weekdays and in 30 days so then I get more dividers and I can put things in today the next seven days are separated by the actual days of the week and the dates then I have the month and someday. So without using due dates, I can drag I can rearrange my schedule just by dragging things around and it makes it really fast. Now there's a few really great features I didn't demonstrate like setting up teams and permissions and custom reports. So sign up for a free trial and try those out for yourself. Uh, timer gets a 9 out of 10 for being so feature rich but still so simple and easy and fast to use. So if you've used Timer before, uh, let us know your experiences with it or how you like it in the comments below. If not, 
then go try it out and let us know what you think. Thank you.